deal with a lot of heat, uh, so burns and slips. Uh, the next one would probably be spillages. So obviously it's quite a wet you know, environment. We do roast our own coffee, so we do a lot of manual handling. Um, we move quite large volumes, tons of coffee a week, so really it's just trip hazards. Customers leaving things in odd spots, obviously, is a big one, so people will leave their bag maybe at the bottom of the table. So we've got a couple steps within the cafe, um, and we've got some, you know, some tape on that, some yellow tape. I think just anytime you deal with a high volume of people, you're gonna be presented with some risks that are you know, not prepared for. It, it is quite a fast-paced environment, which tends to mean that you're quite aware of what's, what's around you at the time, but yeah, the repetitiveness of making a thousand coffees a day, uh, the biggest thing that we, we notice is RSI and baristas getting injuries within their wrists and stuff, so it's, it's more or less just rotating them in and out of those positions to make sure that they're not doing that same motion day in, day out, every single day. Um, your number one hazard, I would say, in any workplace is the people you're working with and knowing where they are and, and around them. I think if you go into any bar or cafe, you'll notice everyone says backs as they walk behind you. You know, a big, a big hazard uh, anywhere is people just not alerting you to their presence, I guess, and you turn around and you've got a bunch of hot coffees and, and you walk into them. Uh, I guess the main thing here is, um, so it would be don't stop and communicate. Make sure you're talking to the people around you. October is National Safe Work Month. Visit the website to find out how you can get involved. Safety is everyone's business, and your knowledge and experiences are worth sharing.